special train races from London to Trowbridge. On board are three doctors and Mr. Horace Mann, the nephew of Sir Roger Brown. He had chartered this train to try and save the life of his uncle, who had suddenly become gravely ill. W. Roger Brown was born in Bath in February 1831, but his family roots were in the Trowbridge area. His full name was William Roger Brown, but he always preferred to use his second name after his grandfather. Shrewd, honourable, kind-hearted, hospitable. Having acquired his wealth in the town, at one point there were a thousand operatives working at Ashton Mill, he was too loyal to desert it, but endeavoured to make it a county town, happy and prosperous. He was buried in the mausoleum he had built a few years earlier for his beloved wife. He also constructed and endowed two blocks of almshouses in her memory. He said, I have never done anything without consulting my wife. And I think it would be a very good thing if everyone who has a wife acts in that way. They had no children, but in his wife Sir Roger found a ready helpmeet in the many matters which engaged his attention, and which had for their object the welfare of the town and the people of Trowbridge. In the late 1890s he also gave the site of the new town British school and £500 towards its construction. In 1887, to commemorate Queen Victoria's Jubilee, he gave the Town Hall to Trowbridge and also the Pleasure Gardens at the rear of the building. This building was also used for the meetings of the County Council when it was first formed. This fact, together with the easy access by train, eventually resulted in Trowbridge becoming the county town of Wiltshire. He was also chairman of Trowbridge Urban Council and one of the original county councillors and in 1898 High Sheriff of Wiltshire and also Deputy Lord Lieutenant of Wiltshire. He was one of the founders and supporters of the Trowbridge Cottage Hospital. He was knighted in 1893. Living from his earliest childhood days in Trowbridge being intimately associated with his people, sympathising with them both in their joys and sorrows, knowing their everyday needs and always ready and anxious to hold out a helping hand where their welfare was concerned. Sir Roger's name has in reality become a household word, the expression of all that was kind and generous, just and honourable. In this painting, by Paul Hancock, a local artist, and painted especially for an exhibition at the Town Hall. He considers the words on Roger Brown's mausoleum and its relation to the legacy he left the town. 